Yeah. Mm -hmm. That Social Security? Yes. When I emailed DSHS? Yes. When I emailed CPS? Right now. Every time I apply to another nation for asylum, you're getting sued. Yes. And uh, this thought that you're just going to refuse to enforce the laws? Yeah. They're going to get sued, and you're going to get sued. Ouch. And I'll do that throughout the world. <clears throat> Now, I don't know the exact amount of damages, yes, but it's large. <laughs> I mean, it's the kind of damages where if you're an employee of DSHS, yes, mm -hmm, you lose your job and you lose everything you own. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody decided to misprison all this felony, yes, knowing that I was being persecuted. And the thought is that... Um, <laughs> This idea, yes, that you're going to persecute American citizens. Both sides get sued. Yes. Social Security does. Mm -hmm. Numerous other government agencies get sued. Yes. And then there's this thought that you're just going to keep doing what you're doing. Well, I told you it was against the law. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, filling out and turning in the application. Yes. Before your final hearing, yeah. you'll come back to court for one more master calendar hearing. <laughs> To turn in your application for asylum, mm -hmm. withholding of removal, and CAT. Yes. <laughs> it is important that you fill out the application completely so the judge will accept it and schedule a final hearing mm -hmm. for you to present all your evidence. <laughs> now, here's some evidence. Pooch! Do you have the evidence? The evidence of the fraud of issuing a protection order in 2011. Yes where the state of Washington did not have jurisdiction to issue it. Yes, because I was in jail on Guam at the time, mm -hmm. and I was in custody of the Superior Court of Guam. Yes, the evidence of my wife getting everything we own mm -hmm. because of court order mm -hmm. without any jurisdiction of law. Yes. The evidence of my wife petitioning for a disillusion of marriage, yep. where three days later she had me arrested right now, <laughs> without admitting the stipulation and order that the courts of the state of Washington would regulate, yes, contact between me, my wife, and my kids. Oh, oh, oh. And then there's the thought of you reissuing the protection order in 2012, yes, where I was, uh huh found not guilty, yes, and my record was expunged, ouch, but the stipulation and order wasn't enforced right now. And then there's the thought of modifying it in 2012 while going through a dissolution of marriage, <laughs> where my wife never gave me notice of court hearings. Yes, you didn't have the jurisdiction of the United Nations. Yes, you didn't serve me the conference setting hearing. Yes, and then when you issued the final decree of dissolution of marriage, right, you tagged every known form of identification of myself. That's persecution. Yes. It fits the definition. Yes. When I go to that final hearing or my attorney that represents me goes to that final hearing yes. and explains to the judge, I'm sorry, Mr. Budnick's not available today. Mr. Budnick is in another nation doing something else. <clears throat> but he'd like to get asylum because of the qualifications necessary and the evidence that is presented. <clears throat> now, a lot of these judges that have that master calendar, yes, I'm going to want those. <clears throat> and I don't want to know. <clears throat> 